Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video of some new books I got through today. So I'm really excited about these two. Can't wait to get into these. I've been after these for a little while. So bear with me while I get this box open. Okay, so there they are. Packaged quite nicely and wrapped in quite tight as well. So as you can probably see, the two books we've got are A Middle Earth Traveller, Sketches from Bag End to Mordor by John Howe. Again, these are Lord of the Rings books. And the second one is... The Lord of the Rings Sketchbook by Alan Lee. So in this video, let's take a quick look through the Middle Earth Traveller, the John Howe one. And I will save the Alan Lee one for another video. Okay, so here it is. First off, I'm just going to say it's a really nice cover. It feels very different to other books, actually. It's got like a matte finish to it, but it's a little bit of a texture to it. So I'm just going to start flicking through this whilst I ramble on. So there's the contents. As usual, I have had a quick look online before ordering these. I like to try and look, you know, on the Amazon previews and such before I buy something just to check what it's like. These books are really highly rated. And John Howe, for those of you who don't know, is one of the artists that worked on the Lord of the Rings series. Which, if you've watched some of my videos, you probably already know I'm a massive geek for Lord of the Rings. So I am going to be a little bit biased. And I also happen to love sketches and um, maybe I shouldn't say unfinished work. But yeah, work, works in progress and things like that. Um, I've always liked stuff like that. So this is perfect for me. I don't know how much of it is going to be unfinished and how much of it like this is going to be, you know, finished colour pieces. It's quite a weighty book for such a small book. Um, it's got a lot of thickness to it. It's got a lot of pages to it. Or it feels like it does anyway. So when I'm looking at these on camera for the first time, I don't really get to take it in too much because I try to keep the videos short. So I don't get to have a proper look through them really until afterwards. If I stop to actually take things in and look at them properly on camera, I would probably forget I am recording and end up just stood reading these, forgetting you guys are watching. So looking from the cover and some of these images, I'm guessing these are also from The Hobbit as well as Lord of the Rings. So it just covers almost, you know, Middle Earth, I guess. I think the title was from Bag End to Middle Earth. Uh, sorry, from Bag End to Mordor. So I think it's just a bit of everything of the world, really. Obviously, you've got your well-known characters like Shelob and things like that. I can't draw landscapes to save my life. Um, so being able to sketch something like this, to me, is pretty incredible, really. Even without taking it in, I'm, I can tell there's some really nice work in here. So it's looking so far like it is mainly sketches, but the the fully finished coloured pieces like this are really nice as well. And being such a big Lord of the Rings fan myself, it is really nice for me to read through these because it just reminds me of different scenes, brings it all back to me. And whilst I normally prefer, you know, art books that you would learn from um, in terms of, you know, tutorials and developing habits and things like that, which they might be, you know, in this, I've not read the text, but um, I find stuff like this quite inspiring, especially with it being fantasy and it being someone so well known that has obviously worked on the films. And I would imagine some of the drawings might be from the books. I don't know too much about John how to comment on that. So things like this is pretty cool. For those of you who don't know Lord of the Rings too well, this is a scene from in the third movie, quite a big battle just outside of Minas Tirith. So it looks like it's got all different factions, uh, moving on to dwarves and things here. It's got scenery, creatures, weapons and armour. And even though I don't know too much about John Howe, I know that he is very good at drawing dragons and fantasy creatures, which you can see from that sketch already, how good he is. So even though I'm a Lord of the Rings geek, I don't even know about a lot of these. So I will really find this quite interesting to read through, as well as obviously looking at the pictures. And depending on when I upload this video, you might see that I also have a John Howe Fantasy Workshop book. That one is not just his Lord of the Rings drawings. That is more of his experience with drawing, um, him teaching you almost, working in the industry and things like that. So for those of you who do like his work, definitely check that video out. So we saw at the beginning as well that I've got an Alan Lee book in this order. Uh, I'll take a look at that in the next video because we're coming to the end of this one now. And I also recorded some other art of the Lord of the Rings books. And you might notice some of the sketches in those are also by John Howe. 
But anyway, that's the end of the book. That's really creepy. Um, yeah, it feels like a really nice book though. It's, it's really heavy uh, and it looks like it's got an awful lot packed into it as well. So I cannot wait to look at this properly. Hopefully if there's anyone out there that is considering getting this book, this preview gave you a little bit more of an idea of what's inside. And that's it guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave me a comment below, let me know what art books you guys are reading at the moment. As always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks everyone.